Hello my friends, this is Mark Mir from TradeConscious.com and uh, I wanted to show you another sort of longer term uh, scalping method that I use. Uh, for those who are familiar with my website, you know that I uh, use the one minute chance to uh, scalp the euro and, and the VAX and uh, the pound and so forth. Uh, but this is a longer term scalping method which works really well. So let me just show you what I have here on the screen. One of the stochastics which we all know about, which helps you to see whether the stuff is overbought or oversold and so forth, and uh, can keep you out of trouble. I have an ATR, average true range, uh, the superior average true range, which helps me uh, see what kind of movements I expect. And I have a multi pair indicator. I, I, I don't know where I downloaded it from, but I'm sure you can find it, which shows you the uh, trend. Uh, Across various time frames for various currencies. Uh, we're looking at the euro here, so you can see that it's up on the one in five minutes. It's nowhere on the mid uh, on the mid ones, and it's down on the longer term uh, time. Uh, but anyway, the indicator I wanted to talk about is the uh, EMA crossover, which is uh, the one that uh, I've been using to enter this trade. Just the setting here, we have. Uh, Two Bollinger bands. We have a uh, a 14 period Bollinger band with standard deviation two and a standard deviation one. They don't really relate to this method of trading, um, but I've left them in because I use them for my other scalps. Um, let me just pause this. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, there was some sort of problem here on the machine, so I just need to sort it out. Okay, so we're talking about the EMA crossover indicator. I'll show you what the settings are for it. Um, this is the indicator, EMA crossover. You can find it. If you Google it, I'm sure you'll find it. It's an MT4 indicator. And if we look at the parameters, I've got the color set as blue for uh, uh, longs, red for shorts. And the inputs show that I'm using the four. EMA and the 5 EMA, and looking at the crossovers of the 4 over the 5 or the other way around. So, uh, let's look at a trade that I had this morning. Now, remember, I, I normally scout one minute charts. I can have 100, 200 trades in a couple of hours, but these are much longer term trades. Let's look at it here and the way I use it. The uh, This is uh, 7.45 UK time, uh, 9.45 GT, I think. But we see the appearance of the, the, the crossover arrow to the VAT side on the euro, uh, euro dollar. So I entered a short over here, just as it broke the bottom of the body of the candle where the arrow appears. So at, at 3940, I stopped just above the, uh, uh, the top of this uh, previous bar at... Uh, um, 29.45. So basically, it's really a, it's only a, a sort of four, four and a half pip stop. Uh, it happens. This uh, progressed quite nicely, uh, and I think I closed uh, pretty much the entire position as it hits uh, just below the pivot point here at 21.16 uh, tw or 21.15 uh, even. Uh, I can't remember. But it was basically it's a good run. Uh, for about uh, 23, 24 pips, uh, and, and it was quite fast run. Now, obviously, uh, this does happen all the time. You get false signals as well. I mean, if you look at this sort of up arrow here, you would have entered on the break of the top of this uh, body of the candle here, 29.44, uh, and your stop would have been at uh, uh, 29.35, a nine pip stop, and you wouldn't have made much. I mean. If you were quick enough and watch and watching the one minute uh, charts, which I do to exit sometimes, you could have gone out with a small profit. So obviously they don't work every time, but once in a while they work nicely. If we look at this uh, downwards uh, arrow here, which happened uh, during the Asian session, or sorry, late uh, into the US session, you know, have we entered here at 29.53 with a stop here? Right, we'd still be in that trade now, uh, so we've entered 29.53. Uh, you know, we at the at the, the 
max price we've down to 29.05 so 40, uh, yeah, 48 um, overnight so these things work quite well if we look at yesterday we had a similar situation here on the long but we would have got stopped out here so it was um, you know we actually no, sorry I'm sorry we wouldn't have stopped out because we would have waited till it broke the top of this and then we probably move in here and we could have made some some decent uh, some money or this one here too to the downside so obviously not all some of them are fake and the, the one thing to watch out is if you've had a really big move on one of the arrows I'll show you in a minute because I think there was one cable yeah see if you get you know hit an arrow here which happens on a you know on a very big bar you know I wouldn't go short yet it seems to be exhausted but on cable, I'm using two EMA crossovers. The red one is the one you saw before, the four over five, and this one would have worked quite well. The longer one, this is a nine over 14 EMA, this one didn't work well. Uh, and definitely I wouldn't take it after such a steep move down. But even here, if we look at this one here, you know, you get a nice move down, get in, it's then confirmed by the longer EMA crossover, and you're in for a nice little look here. Um, another one, smaller ones that you can see on the uh, uh, Aussie currency as well. You know, once it crosses above, it moves. Once it crosses below, you get a bit. You don't always get a lot. In this case here, for example, you get a mega move. You get a you know, we move here from uh, uh, one. 0067, you know, we could have sort of basically still be in now or we'll get out at 1.0, uh, 1 spot 0167, so you know, a good 100 plus uh, pips or so. So, yeah, I'm not saying it's a miracle indicator or anything, I'm just saying that the risk reward on this indicator is pretty good. If you combine it with my scalping method, which you can find on the blog, you know, it all, all in all, it works uh, really well. Hope you enjoyed this and found it useful. Cheers.